Hello again. This is one of a series of what I'm calling video bites on the advice that I typically provide to my clients and in particular to my two specialist areas of law firms and privately owned family businesses. Family investment companies are increasingly in favour and taking over as uh, trusts become out of favour because trusts are increasingly complex and not favoured by family businesses. An FIC allows you to do exactly what a trust does, separate the ownership from the management, so perhaps the earlier generation might be able to divest themselves of the ownership whilst still maintaining control of the management. In this case I'm not looking at the tax and there are a whole load of tax, uh, significant tax issues, but the typical shareholding structure in an FIC uh, is first of all to have freezer stroke preference shares, perhaps with a fixed rate of dividend. Uh, growth shares for the next generation, where any growth in the value of the business moves on, uh, goes to, to those shares. Uh, a golden share, where the existing generation um, actually has the right to appoint directors and hence maintain control of the business whilst giving up their ownership. Uh, and those golden shares usually have little value. And finally, one that people often overlook uh, is what I'd refer to as a grandchildren's pot, uh, where there's significant opportunities for uh, education planning by having a, a pot of shares that can go to grandchildren down the years. So FICs, really strong possibility to use uh, in succession planning.